the second law of thermodynamics. Before we talk about the second law of thermodynamics, it's important to talk about entropy. Entropy is a measure of the disorder in a system. All systems gain entropy over time. That means they become more disordered over time. Let's take the example of uh, two different gases separated by a partition or are uh, in uh, two separate containers. Okay, so we have a red gas and we have a white gas. Now they're separated by a partition. Let's say we remove this partition and we get rid of it over here. Now we look at this diagram here. Now the gases, the two gases have mixed into one single container. Now over here, this is what we call organized okay, or ordered. Now however, if we look at this system now, this has become disordered. Therefore, we say that it has gained entropy. So entropy over here, uh, given by the variable S, has increased. So disorder of the system has increased. And that's what entropy is. Now, the second law of thermodynamics says that the total entropy of both the system, so this would be a system, and the surroundings will never decrease. Essentially, this means that disorder in the universe is always, always increasing. Now, two important equations. The first equation is delta S, so the change in entropy, is equal to the in, a final entropy minus the initial entropy. This should be pretty obvious uh, considering uh, we've seen the change in general change in formula uh, on numerous times. Now the second formula is is also the change in entropy and that is the Q, so the heat added in a reversible process, divided by the absolute temperature of the system. These are two ways to calculate the change in entropy or how much disorder has been gained.